For the past several months, the United States and Turkey have been locked in a diplomatic standoff. At issue are two big arms deals being pursued by Ankara. Turkey wants to buy Russia's S-400 missile defence system in a deal reportedly worth $2.5 billion. It also wants to buy at least 100 American F-35 fighter jets. That deal is worth $12 billion. But Washington says it can't have both. Turkey must choose. Does it want to remain a critical partner of the most successful military alliance in the history of the world? Or does it want to risk the security of that partnership by making reckless decisions that undermine our alliance? Russia says its S-400 is designed to detect and shoot down stealth fighters like the F-35. The US is concerned that by allowing Turkey to have both systems, Moscow could use the S-400 radar to learn the F-35's weaknesses. The S-400 is a computer. The F-35 is a computer. You don't hook your computer to your adversary's computer, and that's basically what we would be doing. Turkey is not simply the buyer in this exchange. It's a key part of the F-35 program. Eight Turkish companies have been involved in the jet's development and the manufacturing of parts. Blocking Turkey from buying the F-35s could put the entire program at risk. In January, the Trump administration tried to derail Turkey's deal with Russia by offering Ankara its own $3.5 billion Patriot surface-to-air missile system at a discounted price. But that offer expired on March 31, and the next day the US made good on its threat by halting delivery of equipment related to the F-35 program. But Turkey is showing no signs of backing down. Ve biz bu konuyla ilgili olarak bir şeyin aktini yapmışsak, sözleşmesini yapmışsak bu iş bitmiştir. Ona göre biz yolumuza devam ediyoruz, devam edeceğiz ve bu da bizim egemenlik hakkımızdır. Bu bizim tasarrufumuzdur. Bundan kimse bizden vazgeçmemizi isteyemez. Nonetheless, the US appears hopeful of a breakthrough. We are continuing to have conversations. I think the Turkish government understands the American position quite clearly. I'm very confident we'll find a path forward. Ankara's critics say they're putting the NATO alliance at risk, but Turkey's foreign minister says the country should not have to choose between the US and Russia. Any country in our region actually has no other options but should balance its relations with everybody in the region. And our relations with Russia is not an alternative to NATO alliance. And now, both sides are waiting for the other's next move. Denise Savoya, The Newsmakers.